With millions of families hitting the road this Labor Day weekend, safety is top of mind. Wrong way drivers are one of the deadliest dangers on Florida highways, turning an ordinary drive into a life or death situation and in seconds. Now a growing network of network detection systems is working to stop them before tragedy strikes. Heather Crawford shows us how the technology works and why paying attention to those alerts could save your life. A few weeks ago, I was driving on I-95 when I saw an alert like this one flash across an electronic sign warning of a wrong way driver. And it was a frightening moment. I wasn't sure what to do, so I pulled off at the closest exit. Well, I've since learned that a high-tech detection system designed to stop those drivers before they cause a crash is expanding right now across Northeast Florida. And so when you see one of these alerts, take it seriously. Terrifying moments caught on camera. Cars barreling down the wrong side of Florida highways, ending in head-on collisions that could have been prevented. Some of them deadly, like this crash that killed Tampa police officer Jesse Madsen in the line of duty as he tried to protect other drivers. So this is a wrong way driving system. We were recently invited inside the Northeast Florida Regional Transportation Management Center, where hundreds of traffic cameras and detection systems are monitored around the clock. The Florida Department of Transportation, Highway Patrol, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, Jacksonville Fire and Rescue, and Florida Fish and Wildlife share this space, ready to respond to anything from congestion to crashes to one of the most dangerous alerts, a wrong way driver. So the wrong way driving program started about 10 years ago in our sister district seven, Tampa area. And the uh, effort was to be able to detect wrong way drivers on uh, interstate exit ramps and then be able to notify law enforcement and have responders ready to try to stop the vehicle. In the Northeast Florida region, it was five years ago, we started our program. We've deployed, I believe, about 60 to 65, uh, with another 70 due in the next few years. The detection systems are placed at hot spots, interstate ramps where wrong way drivers are more likely. The moment a car goes the wrong way, sensors activate flashing signs and send an alert here, where cars can be monitored on these cameras. Our system will give them an alert with uh, signs that have flashing LED to let them know, hey, you're going the wrong way. But if they continue, um, it's alerting this facility, and then we coordinate with Florida Highway Patrol in order to respond. You may have seen the alerts light up on overhead signs. Peter Vega with the Florida Department of Transportation says when you see the message, take it seriously. Those are triggered automatically by our system. So when we get the alert, our software and network is saying, post this message on the sign uh, to let these motorists go in the right way that they may be in danger. The goal, to get you to take action. The hope is that with that message, they'll do the appropriate thing, which is to slow down, pull over to the shoulder, or even stop their car away from danger. So that that way, if there is a wrong way driver continuing in their direction, um, hopefully there isn't an accident, but if there is, they've reduced that kinetic energy, which can lead to serious harm. So how close is that driver to you when the sign goes up? It is dependent. So in some locations in St. John's County is a good example where the intersections are very, very far away. It can be four or five miles. Um, in an urbanized area like Jacksonville, one to two miles. Once the danger passes, the alert is turned off. It's part of a twofold system. Alert the driver going the wrong way and alert everyone else in their path. New tracking technology is now in testing designed to follow the vehicle further up the highway. We are hoping to have that in place in the next three months. It's in testing right now. Uh, the toughest part of that this is testing it because you can't like drive intentionally the wrong way, trying to make sure it works. Now, there are about 450 traffic cameras operating right now in the Jacksonville region. You can check the live views and also get all kinds of traffic alerts using the FL 511 website or app. Heather Crawford, First Coast News on your